I wanna to talk to you today about one of my favorite things to do, and I do it probably three, four nights a week, and that is a detoxifying bath. Something to eliminate the toxins out of my body in a different way. You know, you've heard me talk about detoxifying juices, detoxing yourself through skin brushing, you know, opening up your lymphatic system, sitting in the infrared sauna, doing a, a hot, cold plunge, switching back and forth, different things that you can detoxify your bodies with, but today I wanna to focus on a detoxifying bath and why it's important. Number one, your skin is your largest organ. You probably know that already. So what you put on your skin, your deodorant, your hair, your conditioner, your facial mask, what you put in your mouth is going to absorb. Your skin is like a giant mouth. And I know that sounds kind of dirty. Maybe you don't like that, but it's the truth, right? So. When you sit in a bath, one thing happens. Your body temperature rises and your skin pores open up. As your skin pores open up, you wanna make sure that you have different ingredients in the bathtub to really optimize that time that you're spending in there. So I've coupled up three things today with a couple more essential oils to really uh, stimulate the, the relaxation of your mind, your body, to really get grounded. And um, two things, lavender and chamomile, or we're gonna to add to the essential oil mix. And then we have three ingredients that we're gonna to add to the bath water as well. One of them is Epsom salt. You can use sea salt if you want to. It's loaded with magnesium. Magnesium helps you relax. It actually uh, eases the tension in your muscles as well and helps repair some of those muscles that maybe you strained or worked out excessively in the gym. So I also have some baking soda. Baking soda helps uh, balance the pH in the water and it helps eliminate the chlorine. Chlorine is something that you don't want to absorb all the time in your body as well. So if you had an option to swim in a salt pool versus a chlorine pool, I would tell you to go for the salt always and then also use this in your bathtub to help balance that out and then it also help alkalize your body. Your pH should be around 6.5, 7.5 in your body as well. We also have some ginger. Now you probably have heard of baking soda and Epsom salt in your bath before, but not a lot of people are utilizing some of the pulp that we get when we make juice. When you juice ginger, you do a ginger shot and turmeric together, one of our turmeric elixirs, with a little bit of cayenne pepper on top, you can just grab that pulp, like I have here, and throw that in the bathtub. Now ginger presses out the toxins in your digestion system, it heats up your body internally, so when you have it on your body externally, it does something similar as well. Helps clear your skin so that you can get that glowing, radiant skin that everybody wants. Help you look younger and it feels absolutely amazing. So those are the three ingredients. Now how do I take a bathtub? Generally, um, I, I like to go into the bathtub with an intention. Something that I set my mind on so that while I'm in there I can think about it. You see the mind does these crazy things and when you can program your subconscious mind to really command what it is that you want in life then those things start to show up in your experience. So you have 40 to 50 minutes sometimes in a bathtub to think about whatever you wanna think about. So instead of doing the mindless chatter, the monkey mind that most people go through, why don't you set an intention upon going in the bathtub to really change your life, to make a difference in somebody else's life. And that's what we do at FitLife TV. So while you're sitting there, um, set the intention. Maybe you grab your journal and you write down what you're grateful for, raise your vibration up that way. Make it an experience. The bath should be an experience every time that you get in there. And when you get out, you should feel like a better person. You're washing off all of the old person of the past and you're becoming something anew. It's almost like the butterfly, the caterpillar becoming the butterfly. That's your opportunity to expand and become a better human being. That's what I look at this detoxifying bath is. And that's what you can do too. Day Fit Lifer with your detoxifying bath. Do it, make it a habit. As I've said before, it takes 17 to 21 days to make a habit. Try it out, see what it does for you. I wanna know if you're taking baths now, if you've been able to detoxify your body and get some clarity by relaxing and giving yourself this time. If you have a relationship, if you're married and you are not spending enough quality time in the divorce, maybe you're thinking about divorce or the relationship is a little rocky, maybe you try taking a bath together. And this is 45 minutes of uninterrupted time. Your kids are off in the house doing something else, but it's you two talking, communicating, and becoming one once again. It's so important to do this, FitLifer. Use this ingredients, let me know what you think. I'm giving away a juicer again this week. When you leave a comment below on the blog, I have one Kuvings juicer coming out to one lucky winner. 
who tells me how they've inspired their community, how they've led a change in the world, and they're making a difference. I'm Drew Canoli. Remember, we're in this together. I'll see you next week on another exciting episode of Saturday Strategy. Mm -hmm.